how do I save music videos or YouTube videos on my device on buttons? First, I need to go to menu, then edit grid. There's two different ways I can do this. If I already have a library started, the easiest and fastest way would be to copy and paste one of these already done songs. So I'm just going to show you that way first. So I'm going to go on Justin Timberlake, copy it. Go anywhere that's empty and paste it. Now all I have to do is change the, the label and the address for the web address. So I'll go up to the top here where it says I can change the label. It highlights the label. I'm going to change it to Luke Combs. Now I need to change this address. So I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to go to the website and select the address for Luke Combs song that I want. Copy it. Come back in here and paste it. Now I should be good to go. Let's find out. Finish. Save my changes. If I select this button, it should be Luke and not Justin. Yep, that's Luke Combs. Okay, I'm going to stop that. And I just want to show you that I put these buttons on here um, because it was important for me to be able to stop a video, make it full screen, close ads. And I will warn you that all the ads do not listen to this button. Some of them override it. And then my go back button. So I already built this page, um, which gives me these additional actions to do. So I'm going to go back. Now, the other way that I can put a song on here, if I don't already have a library started, I still need to go into menu and edit grid. The first thing I need to think about is I need to have a player on here. And if this is a new vocabulary page set that I've built, I might not have that. But I know that the YouTube uh, has that on there and it is on grid three. So I can go once I'm in edit mode, I can go up to grid set and then I'm going to select add from another grid set. It gives me all my choices. I'm going to find YouTube. Okay, there's YouTube. Say next. And I need the player. So I'm just going to select the YouTube player and say add it. So now I've got that in here. So now I'm ready to be able to go to my next step. So let me get back to where I want to add this button. So I want to select an empty button, create a cell. And the first thing I need to do is to go to the web page. So I'm just going to type up here at the top, go to web. There it is, web page. Say OK. I'll put the address in in a second because my second action, now that I've brought in a player for me, I need to jump to that player. So I'm going to add another action of jump to, say next. And here's the player that I brought in. Now, I have already altered this a little bit. And I showed you the buttons that I altered it with, the stop button, the, the full screen button, all of those. So I could choose this one, but very honestly, mine's a little bit better because I have those other action buttons on here. So it's the same thing, just with some additional buttons. So I'm going to choose this one. Now I need to go back here and put the address of my new music video in here. So I go to the website and I copy that music video website, and then I come here and paste it. Now I need to change this label and the look of the button. So I go to change label. This is Luke Combs. I do not want a symbol, so I'm going to go to the top and remove the picture. I also want it to look the same as my other buttons, so I'm going to go to the style and Select the same style that the other buttons are. And now I should have Luke Combs on this button as well. So let's find out. Finish, save. Now let's check it out. Oh. 
There he is. I hope that helps.